Hi guys, I'm Lauren. Welcome to my channel. I've got a fun, totally different workout for you guys today. I get the FabFitFun subscription boxes and this one was super cool. It came with the Gaim Core Plus Reformer. Now, if you got this in your box, it kind of looks like an oct octopus and it's what do you do with it? So I'm here today to take you through a full body workout, working arms, legs, booty, you name it. Um, full body using, showing you how to use this band, all kinds of different exercises. Now, if you want to do this workout, don't have a band like this. If you've got a simple resistance band with handles, that will work great too. So I'll give you some modifications for that. We're going to start seated on the mat, um, then work on our hands and knees and then finish in a standing position. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're gonna get started on the mat. You're going to put your feet through two loops and then hold on to two other loops in your hands. Sit up nice and tall for me. Extend those legs just so the knees are slightly bent. Elbows are out to the side, and we're gonna do a little row here, pulling our elbows back and then releasing. So palms are down, bring the hands towards the chest, squeeze the elbows back, squeezing those back muscles together and squeeze. Good, give me eight. For six, five, shoulders down. Four, three, two, last one. Nice job. Now I want you to walk your hands forward and actually grab the same bottom bands that your feet are in. This time our palms are gonna, we're gonna turn it up here and then we're gonna pull back, this time leaving our elbows close to our waist and releasing. So elbows down and back, pull it and release. Pull, squeeze. Good, keep going. Give me six more here for five. Four, three, two, last one. Nice job. Go ahead and grab those top two handles again. Hold them nice and high and then straighten those legs if you can. So hands are parallel to the floor. Elbows high. I want to do a bicep curl in. Palms are coming towards you reaching towards your shoulders. If this is uncomfortable for your back, go ahead and bend those knees. Goal here is to keep those elbows nice and high. You're gonna feel this in your shoulders and in your biceps. Good, keep it going. Give me four more here. For three, two, last one, release, Woo. Switch that grip so the palms are down. Straighten the legs. Tummy comes in. I want you to lean back, bringing the handles towards your chest and then straightening back up. This is for our abs. Lean back and release. Pull the band back, release. Pull the belly button into the spine. The further down you lean back, the harder it's gonna be. Good, working that whole core. Make sure you're breathing. Give me four. Three. Two. Last one. Release it, nice job. We're gonna come working on our legs, so laying on our sides. I'm gonna recommend putting one loop out of the four underneath that top foot. Now I'm tall, I'm 5'9", so this is actually a lot harder for me because the band's got a lot further to go. If you're petite and super strong, go ahead and try two. But one band is under there, bottom knee is slightly bent, and you're propped up on your elbow. Bring those handles up towards you and you can hold them with both hands. Top leg is straight, foot is flexed. I want you to bring the knee in and then push it straight out to the side. So knee in, push it straight. 
Think about that top leg again being parallel to the floor. Knee in, stretch, kick it up. Bend and straight. Four, three, two, last one. I want you to hold it there, lift that leg up and down. Woo, I know you feel that on that side booty there. Four more for three, two, hold it here, guys. We're going to go front and back. We go front, pull it back. Try to keep the torso nice and straight for four, three, two. Guess what, guys? We're doing this whole series one more time. Here we go. Knee in, kick it out. Knee in, kick it out. You might feel that fire starting on top of that hip. Work in the side of those glutes. For four, three, kick it out. Two, hold that leg out to the side. We lift and lower. Ay, ay, ay. Keep breathing. For four, three, two, last set, front and back, front and back, front, pull the tummy in. Final four, three, two, last one, slowly release it. Ooh, nice job. Give that glute a little love here. We've got the other side. Adjust your resistance if you need to. Again, foot is going through one band or possibly two if you're feeling strong. You're all lined up here, shoulder over that elbow. Bring those cords up here about to waist height. We bring knee in, kick it straight out to the side. Knee in. Good. Try to stay propped up on that elbow. Nice and tall. Try not to lean down here. Good. For four, push. Three, two, hold it out. We've got leg lifts. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Anytime you guys need to adjust your resistance, please feel free to do so. What I love about resistance bands, you do you, front and back. For example, if this is a little too tough, if you lowered your arms a little bit, that would give you a little bit less resistance. So just an idea. For three, two, all right, we ready? Last set, here we go. Knee in, kick it out. Leg is trying to stay nice and high, about parallel to the ground. For four, three, two, leg lifts. Here we go, up and down. For four, I know it's hard. Three, two, and one, front and back, here we go guys. I'm right here with you, shaking with you. Do it with me, we'll get stronger every time. For three, two, and one, release it. Nice job. All right, moving on, let's come to our hands and knees. And again, one foot underneath that band. Holding on to the other three in that same arm. Nice and secure. Wrists are underneath those elbows. Knees underneath the hips. So similar series, guys, we're gonna kick it out. So we're gonna go straight back, bring it in. Straight back. 
is awesome for nice round glutes. Keep the tummy pulled in. Get a little core action here too. We've got three, two, hold it here, lift and lower. We lift and tap, lift and tap. Mind where that muscle is. Think about squeezing that glute and make sure you're breathing for four, three, two. Hold it up this last one. Then I want you to bring it towards your other leg. So it's a little inner thigh action, just a little press for four, three, two, and one. Release. Ready for our second set? You got this. Here we go. Kick it back. Glute is basically our biggest muscle, strongest one. You might be able to do two bands as you get stronger. For three, two, hold it back. We lift and lower here. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it up and we cross and little cross. So cross and center. For four, tummy in. Three, you got this. Two, and one. Release that band. Before we switch feet, I'm gonna give you a little break. Shift back into a child's pose. Beautiful, big inhale. And exhale. Let's take it to the other side. One band under that foot. Switch arms holding those bands. Make sure everything's all nice and lined up. Push it straight back. Here we go. Remember, tummy in. Four more here. Hold it up, lift those legs. We tap and lift. Squeeze those glute muscles. Four more. Three, two, hold it up, cross it over. Little cross, little cross. Holding the leg up, working deep into that glute and inner thigh. For three, two, and one. Release it down, remove that band, and we'll take it back into a child's pose. If that wasn't enough, do another set. I encourage you. Big inhale, exhale, tummy in. We'll roll it up one vertebrae at a time. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this workout standing up on our mats or on your floor. So meet me up there. Okay, we're gonna take our band and we're gonna step through two of those loops on the bottom, toes facing forward, feet underneath our hips. Palms facing towards you, stand up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back, tummies in, bring the handles up to the chest, Elbows going out to the side. So a little upright row. Lift and release. Keep a little bend in those knees. Helps protect that lower back. And stand up nice and tall. Try not to let it pull you forward. Give me five more here. Elbows out. For three, two, and one. We're gonna do singles and I want you to twist to the side. So bring that right elbow back behind you, twisting back. Handle comes up to the chest and twist. Again, working in with our core here as well. Big twist, back to center. Try to get that elbow back behind you. And twist, 
four more. Really pull it back. The last two. Eight more doubles to the front. Lift and lower. Shoulders down and back. Final four. Go three, two, and one. Nice job. I want you to switch that grip palms up. Don't move your feet. Coming back to standing, we'll do some bicep curls. Elbows are tucked in nice and tight. That waistline, palms facing up. We bicep curl up, slowly release it down. I love resistance bands because they're so easy on the joints. We really got to control. Try not to use momentum. Control it down. Nice. How about five more? Go for three, two, last one, big squeeze, control it down, awesome. Take that band out from the feet. Last two exercises, guys, are for our triceps. I'm gonna recommend three bands in one hand. I want you to take that hand behind your back like this. Grab that other band. If you want to do two, that's just going to make it a little bit more challenging. And through that band there, palm facing me, so facing out. I want you to glue that elbow pointed towards the ceiling, and then we're going to press that band up. So the hand behind us here is anchoring those other bands. So bend the elbow, press it up, palm towards me, straightening that arm. Push. Release it. Push, release. I know you feel it in that opposite shoulder too. Working everything here at once. Give me four, three, two, and one. Release just that single hand. We're gonna bring it in front of us. This time palm is down and then lift the other arm straight up into the air. Again, glue that elbow in towards the side. Other arm is straight. This time I want you to push it down, lift it halfway up. So just working that tricep in the opposite way. Push it down, halfway up. Elbow stays nice and close to that waistline. Give me four, three, two, and one. Release, nice job. Other side. So take the three, back behind the waist. First exercise, comes all the way up, palm facing out towards me, anchor that back hand behind the waist. We're gonna take it back, press it up, straightening that arm. Halfway back, push. Think about that tricep muscle, it's bigger than you think. Back side of our body tends to be weaker than the front side. We gotta even it out. Push, back, and straighten for four, three, two, and one. Awesome, release it. Final one, guys. Straighten that arm all the way up top. This one comes down, glue that elbow into the side. We push it, palm down, release it halfway up. Push. Release. Squeezing the back of the arm. Good, are you breathing? Almost there. For four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Put that band down. Big inhale, both arms go reach up to the ceiling. Crisscross those arms. Elbows towards the ceiling, fingertips on the opposite shoulder. Give me a little lean to the side. And the other side. Back to center, arms all the way out. Inhale. As you exhale, open up that chest. Bring the arms a little further behind you. 
and then round the shoulders, bring the arms all the way in front, rounding the shoulders and the back, lace the fingertips together, push out towards me. Try to straighten your elbows. Give me a little lean over to the side. Other side. Quick stretch here. So well deserved for all that work. Come back to center. Release it down. Bending those knees, hands on top of the thighs. Roll it down, tummy in. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Widen that stance just a bit. Toes still facing forward. A little stretch here. Hips go back. Stretching the inner thigh and the glutes. Other side. Come back to center. Let's squat it back here. Shift those hips back. And then just straighten those legs, hinging forward. Try to reach all the way towards the floor. Oh, that feels amazing. Big inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Roll it up. One more vertebrae at a time here. Toe heel back in. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope you had a ton of fun. I know I did. Gave you some great ideas on how to work with this really cool Core Performer Plus. We'll see you next time. And if you liked this video, please check out my others on my channel. Bye-bye.